For anyone interested in our modern view of how matter works and how light works and energy works, he's, he's absolutely at the crux. I almost see him as a fulcrum about which physics pitched from the 19th to 20th century. I mean, literally, he's in 1900. But he's a very classically trained physicist using classical tools as best he can to, to lurch and stumble and stub his toes into this confusing modern era. Um, and not only in his own work, but you know, I have to emphasize that he was the earliest and, and most highest, highly ranked proponent of Einstein's ideas. These crazy ideas of special relativity, um, Planck embraced them and promoted them and, and protected young Einstein when he was attacked. So, so moving into new ideas of how time and space work um, also have Planck's fingerprints on them. He changed his mind uh, every decade of his life about something very fundamental. It's not just like changing your opinion over uh, congressional legislation or uh, the role of one gene or something, but he, would, he changed his mind about very, very fundamental things. Um, uh, in physics, the existence of atoms, uh, the existence of the quantum that he had stumbled across, and uh, Einstein's ideas of relativity. And then he changed his own ideas about the very fundamental reality of quantum mechanics much much later and what humans could actually learn about nature he changed his fundamental views on this as well um, just his ability to keep an open mind I'd say would, would be the most uh, informative and inspiring part about him I think first and foremost he was eclipsed by his younger friend Albert Einstein who became really one of the first international science celebrities with his discoveries um, and Einstein spent, of course, a lot of time in America, and Planck never did. And uh, Planck had one visit to America and gave a series of lectures at Columbia University in German, but um, was not that well known here. Uh, also, um, a biography for Planck was difficult in a way because all his personal facts, his journals, his letters, uh, his own notebooks, everything was destroyed in World War II. Um, and so that, that might have stood in the way of him being better known uh, in English as well.